Welcome to Dearborn, Michigan and the Henry Ford Museum. I'm Daryl. And I'm Renee. And today we're actually going to be trying a geocache. This is a little bit different type of puzzle cache than we normally see because if you take a look, we've got pictures that we have to find. They're pretty cool. This is a really awesome style of geocache that I've done a few different times. You have to go and find these uh, locations figure something out at the location. And you've actually gone through this description. What is it that we actually need to find at uh, each of these locations this time? Well, at each of these, we're, um, Batman is known as the world's greatest detective. <laughs> so we have to go to each one of these um, scenes at the Henry Ford Museum. And to solve, um, we need to find the year Yes, that the each year one of these um, that the artifact came from, I believe. So, yes. so we need the last digit of the year of the artifact. Then that gets plugged in to create our finals. So we've copied all of the uh, photos and the information we need into Notion, which is our preferred note-taking app for this. And we're going to run around and try to find them. This is a really great way to get a better idea of the museum and of the artifacts within. So right. let's get started. Something to keep in mind when you're doing a puzzle cache like this, where you're hunting for the photos, is don't necessarily go in the order of the photos. This is our first stop, is at this uh, Westphalia uh, camper van over here, which is just around the corner from where we started the vlog. Now knowing a little bit about the museum makes it a lot easier to find these, and going down through that list of photos, I think I know where everything is. So we're going to try to make it through this pretty quickly, but at the same time, we want to stop and, I guess, smell the flowers? So our second stop is this. It's actually uh, Kennedy's limousine, known as the uh, Kennedy car. But this is another good tip. Make sure you get all of those photos into something like Notion and then make sure they're saved offline. When we actually started uh, doing this tour, I realized at the last stop, we had several photos that hadn't loaded and just weren't loading. So we needed to uh, get those uh, loaded up before we could continue on the tour. Then for stop number three, we're at one of my favorite artifacts in the museum here. It's the 1601 from uh, CNO. It's the Allegheny, not the largest locomotive to ride the rails in the US, but in my opinion, the coolest of the steam locomotives. It is the pinnacle of technology of steam. We're sitting right there. And right next to it, we've got this uh, replica of one of the very first steam locomotives to ever ride the rails in the US. Then our next stop is the replica of the Wright Flyer, which is a centerpiece of one of their Heroes of Flight exhibits here, all about the uh, aviation business. So another really, really cool part of the collection. So three of the numbers we needed to get were here in the Freedom and Liberty for All exhibit, which is about um, civil rights. It's a super interesting exhibit. I find something new, at least one new thing every time I come visit. But in finding these particular um, numbers that we needed to find, one was really complicated. It was a button that was like this big, and we needed the, the date that they think the button was from. Um, the other two were also, we had to read, find a plaque, a certain plaque, and a specific sign. So it's really, it's a fun, this is so much fun. I love doing these kind of puzzles. 
and learning new things as I'm doing them. So I love coming to this part of the museum. It's called Your Place in History. The sad thing is, <laughs> The newest thing in here, it's like Y2K, so the newest thing in here, the most updated, is over 20 years old already. We um, needed to find two things in here. One was comic, a, co a comic book, but it's really cool because there's this whole long line of comic books throughout the ages. Um, but this other thing predates our, our actual hobby, but this is what started our hobby right here. So we're well over halfway done and we finally hit one of my favorite things in the museum which is an entire house. This is the Dynamaxian home. I live in it. It was a concept post-World War II for cheap, easy, uh, affordable, quality housing. And it's all modular, it's a really cool thing. Unfortunately it's still closed due to the pandemic. but. Is one of my favorite things to visit on the tour when you can get into it. Next up, we have these amazing dollhouses that I think are often overlooked in the collection. It, one of the more interesting things is whenever they have the special exhibits, you'll want to come over here and check it out. They do decorate for holidays sometimes, but they'll also decorate the dollhouses for whatever's in there. Yeah, for example, when they had the Marvels, they had the Marvel Universe one, they actually had some little like uh, figurines of Marvel characters in the dollhouses. We're nearing the end of our uh, tour of the museum through this geocache, but you gotta be really careful when you're doing these photos, because this, they're not looking for the date of manufacturer or release. There's this uh, historic plaque over here mentioning this combine. You need the year of dedication on that plaque, not the actual year of the combine. Please. Something to throw you for a little bit of a loop, and I'm sure a lot of people are getting stuck on those. Although it makes me smile every time, it's much more fun to catch a wiener in the wild. And we did actually one, run into one of these on one of our road trips going caching mm -hmm. uh, several years ago. So it was very cool to actually run into that in the wild and get some photos in the parking lot of our hotel. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like, you know, on the promo tour, <laughs> it, was, it was on the It wild. was sleeping at the hotel. <laughs> but this is only the second to last on our uh, trip. We have or on our tour actually, we have one more that the artifact is no longer on exhibit. Fortunately, we already know what that number is, so we've wrapped it up. We've gone and used the uh, checker on the webpage to confirm, and it's actually not that far, but we have to leave the museum to find it. So we're gonna do a little bit more here, head out and find that last final uh, part of this geocache. Just a quick note before we actually leave the museum to go find that cache. They do have some cool new stuff that they're adding all the time. Some of it's not even on exhibit, but this one is actually one of the self-driving buses that was in use out in Ann Arbor. Very cool to see, but I'd rather go and ride it. So as we're trying to uh, deal with the log in this very, very cold weather, uh, we did have to leave the museum, go out and find the thing, but it really did make this a lot more entertaining a trip, gave us something to do. It's like doing a photo scavenger hunt with a uh, smiley at the end. Right. So definitely worth uh, checking these out. I always like doing them if there's ever one available. I found a few in like downtown areas, you know, especially the smaller downtowns. But you do need to kind of use some uh, deductive reasoning sometimes. Yes. Because things will change. And it, that was the whole thing with one of them the, where it's not there, but it was obvious what that number had to be. Right. So as a hider, keep that in mind. And I do encourage people to hide these because they are so much fun. It really is a lot of fun. They don't get hit very often, which is the downside. But they are a lot of fun. It does take a lot of time. But it's kind of, uh, kind of like a where I go or a virtual cache in some ways, mm -hmm. but you only get that one hit at the end. Right, but it's definitely fun. Definitely worth doing. That's going to do it for this video though. Make sure to hit the channel icon in the corner there. Check out some of our other videos. 
hit the uh, bell and the subscribe icon if you like it, and that way you get notified when we have new stuff that drops. But on the other corner, we're going to put more of these geocaching videos, so if you want to check out more of our geocaching adventures, you can do that over there.